Welcome back to the Boo Tragedies, man. We're going to talk about Peyton Turner today. Obviously, he had an injury um, riddle season to start off his um, NFL campaign. He showed some flashes on film, but the injuries just never let him stay on the field consistently. But when he did play, he looked he looked well at, at moments. And um, that Carolina's Panthers game, obviously, that was his biggest game of the year, also his first game of the year. And we'll kind of take a look at some things he did in that game. Right here, he gets a um, rough in the pass. You can't hit the quarterback that low. You can uh, better see this play, you know, um, from here. Now, right here, right off the bat, um, I would like him to be more aggressive, you know, facing that double team. He just kind of get a, a, a little punch on him. Uh, but he does his job because he has to occupy those two guys because Demario Davis is coming on a little delayed blitz right here. You see Demario comes, and now that uh, the left tackle has to try to get back to Demario. As he's doing that, Peyton Turner beats the tight end inside because he knows that uh, left tackle is not going to help him anymore. Beats him, but he stumbles. And right here when you stumble, hey, I know you're a rookie. I know you're trying to make plays, but the play's over for you. That's just the NFL rules now. You can't do that. You just can't do that to a quarterback. That's ACL season, and it's just not gonna. they're not going to let you do that to quarterbacks. But still a good move, still a good play bomb. Right here, hey. You're just not going to put a tight end on this guy. That's just, I mean, it's just simple as that. He, he's honestly so close to Marcus Davenport. Uh, I don't think he's as athletic, but I think he was more refined pass rushing with moves and stuff than uh, Marcus Davenport. But this right here, a tight end, he's going to push him back every time. Just too strong, too big. Same exact thing right there. Same exact thing. All right, right here, this is a nice pass rush move from him. Gets a holding call right here. Just watch how he sets this up, man. It, it's very, very nice. Coming straight up field. Quick move to the inside. I mean, you can't do this. You just can't do this. And that's one-on-one. -on -one. That's what he's going to get a lot when he's on the field, man. If he's on the field with Anya Mata, Davenport, Cam Jordan, whoever, he's going to get a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. And if you can do this, getting your one-on-ones, that's excellent. That's very, very good. Just watch how he sets this up, man. How he's coming straight up field. The guy doesn't know if he's going to go outside, inside, and sets him up, beats him. Great play by Turner right there. Right here on the goal line, this is just, hey, got to use your strength, got to get low. Low man wins. And this is just beautiful. You can barely see him. You can uh, see him a little better from this angle right here. Takes on those two guys, beats him, stops the play. That's on third and short as well. That's very, very good. Once again, lined up wide. He beats this guy again. He beats this guy again. Just unfortunate, the Saints, uh, the way the Saints had this set up, Sam Donner was able to get out and scramble. But it's basically the same play that I just showed you. You're coming straight up field. Last time I beat you inside, this time I do the same exact move, but boom, it's coming outside very, very quick. It's just that the Saints don't have any D-tackle pressure right here, which causes that gap. And Sam Donner gets out of there. This is This is... The same exact play that I showed you last time, watch. It's literally exact same, except we're coming inside right here, which he gets to holding on. So be beautifully set up by Peyton Turner. Uh, here's that play again. I'll kind of show you why. I mean, Sam Dorno got out right here. Just look at this defensive tackle play. This guy's on the ground right here. I can't tell who that is, but, yeah, you just can't be on the ground right there. I think, is that DeMario maybe? Yeah, DeMario falls. He gets caught up in that wash. And once that happens, he don't get any push up the middle. So when Peyton Turner comes up field, that just leaves, I mean, that leaves a wide open hole right there. Still a really, really good pass rush move from Peyton Turner. I mean, what can you say right here? This is, if you watch Marcus Davenport, you know this is his specialty right here. Hey, I might not be the best pass rusher, you know, moves-wise, finesse-wise, but this power and strength will come right at you. Look at this. Just pushing two guys down. I'm bigger, I'm stronger, I'm faster. There's nothing you can do about it. That's just beautiful right there, man. That's just beautiful football. Right here, one thing Davenport does as well. I, I know I'm saying Davenport name a lot, but these guys are very, very similar in players. When you got offensive guards and tackles and centers or whoever pulling towards Davenport, he's too good of an athlete. He always slips those guys. And you can watch Peyton turn, out, turn it down here. Guy's pulling, but I'm too much of a good athlete. I just jump outside of that. The guy's hugging him, which is a penalty, but hey, it's okay because 
Peyton Turner still makes that play. And right here, this is just that bull rush again, makes that sack. So, man, honestly, can he live up to that first round, you know, expectation uh, of the first round pick? He has all the talent. He's ha He has all of the talent. Um, he'll have a chance this year again. I mean, he's, I mean, it's Davenport the same way, man. He's, he's always hurt, but when he's out there, he looks elite. So, I mean, Peyton Turner, I'm not going to put the injury uh, concerns on him yet just because it was one year, but if it happens again this year, then that's definitely something to talk about. And he has to be the defensive uh, end of the future. I think the Saints were really planning for him to take over Cam Jordan's role in maybe two to three years. Uh, obviously, Cam Jordan has a couple years left, but he has to be healthy. He has to show that because uh, him and him and Davenport can be the defensive ends of the future. They also can both slide inside, which would be great this year because I can't wait to see uh, the Anyamata, Cam Jordan, Peyton Turner, Davenport lineups, and maybe even uh, if Cam Jordan slides inside some, not you know, not right now, but maybe a year or two from now, he slides inside with Peyton Turner and Davenport on the outsides. Saints have so many options with that front four, uh, front five, as you add Tuttle in there and some other guys, uh, Tano, Carl Grandison. The defensive line is going to be strong. If Peyton Turner can make any jump, any leap from his rookie season, then, I mean, that, that group is going to be absolutely hell to block every week. Let me know what y'all think about Peyton Turner, man. Do y'all think he'll live up to that first-round pick? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And as always, this is the Boot Tragedy. Send him out.